Sunday, January 7th. Off to a rough start with the daily games this morning. By my recollection, that's the first time I've ever failed connections, so that was super disappointing. Wordle in four guesses is average, and then the mini in a minute 40 was also just below average, so rough start to the day. But now we're puzzling while watching Red Zone last week of the regular season. That's a lot of snow. As the morning games finish, made some pretty good progress on the puzzle. Congrats to the Lions, getting the 12 wins. Time for the afternoon games. Lunchtime, round two of chili cheese pastrami fries. Afternoon games beginning. Before the afternoon games finished, finish the entire bottom portion. Making moves. So I'm just going to follow up on a thought I had yesterday about tryouts and what people are looking for because it was a really interesting interaction with one of the players who was like, I can't wait to see what all these throws are going to look like right now because it's a known thing that guys, when they're trying out, just try really, really hard to do things above what their actual present level is. And then it just turns into really bad play, whatever it is in that context that was ultimate. But it could be literally any sport or anything where you are thinking, I really have to show what I can do, so I'm going to do more. And all that does is get you even more noticed for doing the wrong things. But if you consistently do the right things, coaches tend to notice that even better. That is much more in your favor. So when you're trying out, if you're trying to impress somebody, don't impress by going over the top and trying to do things that you maybe can't actually do but do things that you for sure know you can do and that they're the right things because coaches really value that much, much more. Go get it. It's now evening and I'm going to make dinner and then watch Percy Jackson, but there wasn't much else to show you tonight. Nick and Jillian aren't here, so I am with the dogs, just fed them. Um, so now I'm working on my own food. But I did want to leave you with something mildly entertaining and that is my friend Micah every year not every year, every other year, has to do a colonoscopy because he has something called ulcerative colitis. Basically, his digestive system doesn't work super awesome and that negatively affects him quite a bit. So every two years, he has to go in for a colonoscopy, which means he has to fast for a day and take this liquid that helps clean him out. And he chronicles it on Instagram. And I grabbed a couple of the videos because just what he says is hilarious and if you don't want to take part in that then skip ahead till you no longer see Micah's face but it's pretty funny despite the subject matter I didn't even have an appetite I was like I was just focused on handling business but things have started to slow down and I could eat a deep fried horse I'm at 13 poops, the sun has set, and I am far from finished. I still have an entire third of a gallon. I have not been drinking this as fast as I was supposed to because it's just so nasty. I'm about to be up until nasty o'clock in the morning. I lost count of the dookies. We are somewhere between 18 and 20. There was a series. I mean, it was one after the other, after the other, you know, like you clean yourself up, pull your pants up, and then you gotta go again. So you just pull them back down and you just sit back down. And you're like, why am I even trying? I should just live on this toilet. Yeah. So I lost count. If you haven't started watching the show yet, you should. And if you haven't read the books yet, you should definitely do that because the books are fantastic. And if you haven't seen the movies yet, go ahead and watch them, but pretend that they're not connected to the books whatsoever because if you try to connect them to the books, you will hate your life. But go watch the show. And we're back to puzzling along the way. Final puzzle update for the night. Whole bottoms filled in good portion of the tree probably don't have too much time to work on it tomorrow see what happens i was also reminded that in previous vlogging i always ended the vlog with a specific thing 
So we're going to bring that to, we're going to bring that back. And for those who are new, introduce you to Eldrick, the stuffed tiger I've had for, I don't know, 15 plus years, who is always on my bed. So we end the vlog saying goodnight to Eldrick. So goodnight, Eldrick.